Hi all, Daryl again. Middle of summer break still. Still working on building a few models for uh, learning aids for my students. Today we're going to look at the science unit, specifically the energy unit. And we're going to build my version of the classic cotton reel engine. Cotton reel rubber band engine. Um, it's pretty hard to find cotton reels, the old wooden cotton reels. So I have made use of a PVC tube. Uh, which you can get from any pharmacy, if it carries Barocca generally, or uh, in this case aspirin. Um, they come in PVC or aluminium. I find the PVC is easier to cut. Um, it is possible to uh, use the whole tube and of course the end cap. Uh, however, the end cap protrudes slightly more than the end and so this, this uh, roller will not run true in a straight line, it'll actually veer off to the, to, the, to the left. So I can fix that by using some packing tape just to bring it up to the same height as my cap. Or in this case, I'm actually going to use a half a tube. The reason why is because I want this little motor to power a three-dimensional paper car or paper model car. So in this case, um, I have my cap. I've already used the soldering iron to uh, punch a hole through the center. Uh, likewise, I have done the same with this cap here. I've pre-assembled this particular part of the engine, purely because it's difficult to get the elastic through the holes, it does take some time. But um, I used, a, uh, used a, uh, a toothpick here as the, uh, as the lever to work my motor, uh, a four hole button, and if the rubber band is just looped through the two holes of the button back on itself and pass through in the end there. So with this, it's just a matter of passing that back through the hole in my end cap. And I have my other end cap here, the hole punched through, put that there. A little piece of wire with a hook on it just so I can pull the whole thing through and I'm going to take a hold of that rubber band there and pull that rubber band back through the end hole I hope if my loop will work there we go okay so now I have the rubber band out through the end, take it off of the loop, I need to anchor the rubber band. With that I'm just going to cut off a little piece of straw drinking straw, quite simple. And we're going to pop that through the loop. And there we go, that's anchored the straw to that end. Okay, so with this uh, with this drinking straw, we don't want that to be spinning on the end when we wind up our engine. So we need to anchor that somehow. So I've used a drawing compass to simply punch a hole through one end of the straw and through through the air, through the end cap. And I'm just going to take a toothpick and I'm going to use that as an anchor. So punch it through the holes, pop it in, there we go, and a pair of scissors, and we're just going to cut that off, just there. Okay, so now we're anchored using that little pin. All right, job's done. This is my version of the cotton reel classic electric elastic motor. So, wind him up. Let him go. Maybe some more winds. So, there we have wind our engine up. And to check that's going to work, we can just let go of that. And, and it's spinning. Okay, very good. So now, Wind up again.
put him on my table and away he goes okay saw a bit of wheel spin there okay so we're going to make a couple of tires for this just so that we don't get any wheel spin because it's quite happens once you wind the rubber band up it's quite a lot of power generated and it tends to spin and go in a circle so one rubber band on the tube rolled up to the end cap and another rubber band likewise at this end of the tube just to give us a bit of traction okay so there we are it's our our engine our cotton reel engine and wind him up just to check that he actually works let him go yeah spinning jobs done okay wind him up some more and let's see how he moves on my little guillotine bench oh all right again there's a lot of power there but as you can see he's pretty keen to go places cool so there you go that's our little variation of the classic cotton reel elastic rubber band engine thanks for watching